Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about essences and your equipment. Let's get to it. First off, we're going to go ahead and add your equipment to the enchantment table. After that, we're going to find out what your equipment can actually roll. Here, once you add your equipment, go to the option chances and you're going to see the options. Okay, you have your prefixes and your suffixes. So this is the option that you, your equipment can roll. Once you know what your equipment rolls, can roll, now you know if that equipment is suitable for you for your actual skills. The next step is looking at your quality percentage. Okay, this cannot be changed after you roll this item to a magic. Okay, so make sure if you want to change this percentage, you do it before before you start crafting okay so let's give it let's give you an example this 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 can be changed as many times as you want and you can only be done when normal so let's try to go for a higher number five percent And this actually rolls from between 1% to 20%, which is the max, okay? 1 to 20%. So if it goes up to 20, you have the max. Don't keep rolling, because you're going to lose it. Come on, 20%. Give it to me, baby. Well, I got 15. I'm going to keep that there because I don't want to keep using these essences. Uh, this is just for video purposes, just to show you guys how to change the quality essence, the, your quality on your equipment. Not quality, but quality percentage on your equipment. And what does this quality do? Uh, well, good, good question. The quality does is going to improve the standard options, the standard options of your equipment. So your standard options, you're gonna see you're gonna see an extra blue right next to it. If you don't, if you take this magnifier off, you're gonna see the numbers are gonna be blue, meaning that this number is affected by your percentage on the top. Okay, next, next thing we want to do is we want to take this item to a magic item. Okay, we make this item a magic item. Um, you do have the options. Well, let's let's make, let's get it to magic item first, and then from there I continue. So once you get it to magic item, uh, you have the options to either look for the stat that you want by going to repeat settings right here. And you can pick whichever prefix or suffix that you choose that you want for this item to drop with. So let's say I have a, let's, let's go for chaos resist. I'm gonna add chaos resist and it gives you, uh, let's go back. Okay, I'm gonna have to let's go back okay because I didn't finish explaining what I need to explain uh, so let's say you have to, you want chaos uh, chaos resist and it, it shows you the percentage the the drop percentage on the chaos resist so you can see it cannot drop these are the tiers that's the higher the tier the higher the property the higher the, the the more the more the number the bigger the number okay so as you can tell uh, this item does not drop lower than a tier 5 so it goes from tier 5 all the way to tier 9 so basically you cannot get this item at 10 okay so this is very important so you can look at these stats before you start rolling that way um, when you're when you're trying to go for for a tier increase uh, item with a higher tier then you're not looking for a 10 if the item doesn't drop to an a 10 okay so very important to look at these stats before you start rolling Okay, so let's go. We, let's say we want chaos resist. We can hit OK, and this will this will randomly this will repeat until I get a chaos resist. I got a chaos resist uh, uh, tier five. Right now we have a hidden option, which we can unveil with a magic imbue essence. Okay, you can unveil this magic imbue essence and add an extra an extra option. And we got a poison damage chance, a dodge chance, and this is not this is not where it ends. Here we want to make this magic item a 
three option item okay so we want to maximize the item magic items can have up to three options so we're gonna go for max options at this point in order to do that let's say that this is the this is the must these are your must stats right now and that's what you want to keep and instead of re-rolling to get something different um, you can always add an option to that so the way to add an option to that is by using these squares right here these magic expression essences or cube not a square cube uh, you can use his magic expression essences and this will add another option okay once you have that option let's just say you just get a the shittiest rule you can possibly can get uh, let's say something let's say you get something that you just don't want and you just want to remove it um, the best suggestion is to re-imbue until you get the the item you want re-imbue re-imbue until you get the item you want and then once you get that item item that you want again, then you can start rolling again. And lucky for me, I got a three, another three option roll here. So uh, it has a five percent cast speed, which is great. Gear stat requirement is not really not really. I don't go for gear gear stat requirement. I think that's a waste of an option there. So if you can do something better, uh, I would go for a better better stat for sure. Um, in, on the left, you can see the tiers. You got a tier four tier 5 and tier 6 and you have your prefixes and your uh, and your suffixes the way to tell what a prefix and a suffix is your prefix is going to have a kind of a a thicker lining on the top and it looks like an arrow basically so it's like an arrow up arrow up those are prefixes and then the, the suffixes are going to have an arrow down so a uh, thicker lining on the bottom Okay, once you have all these options, okay, it, let's in, let's just say that you didn't get the option that you want, but you you still like what you what you what you have, and let's say you want a specific, a more specific item, you can always come back to your magic fix essences, and th this is this item. Well, let's start here with the magic birth essence first. The magic birth essence is just gonna re-roll, it's just gonna re-roll all your all your options right here. So it's gonna be random by chance. He's just gonna keep. He's just gonna roll it. It's gonna give you different, different, different options. Okay. Um, yeah, this is good sometimes, but I do prefer using the magic fix essence because it is it is a lot better to get the stat that you want right away. Um, the you can get these magic fix essences. They they drop, but the best way to do it, you're gonna get a lot of magic birth essences. Okay, you can you can convert ten of the ten magic birth essences to one magic fix essences on the alchemy table. Okay, so I suggest you you just convert these into magic fix essences, and then you get the item that you want. So the the way that magic magic fix essences work is by selecting it, make, go to select option, and then go same thing that we did earlier, but this time, uh, and you know what? And what you want to do is would you want to have everything unveiled okay so just just you want to have everything unveiled because because when this rolls you want everything to roll unless you just wanted to leave it unveiled and then get an extra option once you get the option that you want and maybe you can get something better out of that unveilment okay so you already know how to unveil it you normally use the coin and magic imbuing essence coin you can unveil this option okay for right now we're just gonna go for straight for the option that we want so let's say it already has chaos resist there it's at level 7 which is great and HP which is great as well um, but just in case you want something something and that's a level 7 we can actually go for a 9 uh, a chaos resist this so you can go for the uh, you can go straight for the chaos resist and select it and then once you enchant your chaos resist is always going to be there so no matter how many times you you enchant with the with the magic fix essence your your the item that you're looking for is always going to be there so you can always roll for a higher stat attack speed chaos you got chaos plus six chaos six that's tier six okay so we got a tier eight chaos 
We got a tier, tier 8 Chaos Resist, plus 70 Chaos Resist, and that's not really the max. It's actually 18, which is not bad. And the way to know what, how your gear, what is the range of your gear or your stats, you can always hit this magnifier right here in the top right, and it's going to show you the range and tell you what did you get on this range. So right now you got a tier 7, and you, you have a low... And you're on the low side on the gear dodge rate, and then you are on the low side on the gear barrier as well. And then chaos resist, I'm, I'm always uh, also on the low side as well. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna show you how to 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 make this number bigger and what to use right now. So right now we have an extra stat that we have not unveiled. We're gonna go ahead and unveil this stat by using the magic imbue essence, the coin. We unveil that. Boom, we got a tier 10 item drop rarity. This is amazing. This is amazing. What a great, great item right here. Okay, so once we have this item right here, we're going to go back to the magnifier. Well, I already had it there. Excuse me. Rookie mistake. Um, and these numbers right here, you can always review these numbers with the magic chance essence. It looks like a nice little circle. Um, this is going to re-imbue these options, these numbers right here, the, num the options are going to stay the same, but the number is going to change. So we're going to go ahead and select the magic chance, the magic change essence, and we're going to re-imbue re these options right here. So we got a plus 98 out of 100, that's good, plus 20, that's the max, plus 17, that's still on the low side plus 24.9 so we can go keep on enchanting here these are a little bit hard to well they're not hard to get you can get these all the time as well um 90 19 18 you got the max here that almost max here and then this one dropped so we're going to try to get these numbers close to where we want them 0.5 20 I, I think we can keep those right here we have a 25.5% drop item rarity, which is absolutely amazing. You get a few of these, you stack it with your gear, and guess what? You're going to be getting some good loot, some good loot, good, very good loot. So keep that in mind. If you see item drop rarity, I suggest keep it in your, in your, in your equipment so you can get better, better loot and better equipment, obviously. Um, okay, so next step, we want to convert this item into a rare how do we do that well this is the main ingredient right here rare upgrade essences okay um we do have other options but this is a random okay this is a random upgrade essence and this can make your item either a magic a rare or a unique item Okay, uh, and, and this happened before. I've used it before on, on, on different on a different item, and I actually got a unique. So so it is it is definitely very possible, definitely very possible. But I don't suggest you do it. Like let's say this item right here, I really do like this item. Um, I wouldn't want to risk losing my stats trying to go for something else at the moment. You know, unless it's some this a random item I have on the on you know on my inventory, and I say yeah, let's let's go ahead and use these just to see if I can get a unique, then yeah, then you can go ahead and use that. But in the meantime, we want to go for the rare upgrade essences. This will guarantee you to upgrade your item from a magic to a rare. So we're going to use the rare upgrade essence. The rare upgrade essence is going to upgrade it to a rare, obviously, obviously. And the rares, um, you can have up to six options. Okay, once you imbue, it can go from four to five to six, which is the best that you can get. If you can get a five, is good. Uh, a six, even better, because you don't have to add any more to it, because um, the resources are a little bit limited on the rare side. Okay, so let's say we do get a four. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for it right now. But let's say we get a four. That is actually the the the, the minimum you can get. Minimum you can get is four options. Maximum is six. Okay, so here we go. Um, and before we do convert this revision essence, well, we're gonna continue. We're gonna go to the rare first, okay? So we're gonna upgrade to a rare, and we got four options. What luck, man. 
Jesus Christ, we have the lowest option here. But let's say you really, really, really want to keep this up, this, this equipment right here. This is what you want. You don't want to change it. Even though we got a tier three, tier three bleed dot chance, which is okay. Let's say this is what you want. This is what you want to keep. Um, you can use a rare birth essences to change those options if you wish to change those options. Right now, I don't want to. Um, this is the same thing as as the magic side is a rare fixed essences. It works exactly the same. You choose the option that you want, and you roll it, and you'll get that option. Uh, these are a lot harder to get though on the rare side, so I suggest you do everything on the magic side. So when you come back to the rare side, you, you're gonna have so much, so much material on the on the magic side that that you can re-roll and re-roll this to your heart content, and then you get the actual piece that you want. I suggest saving these for really special, really special items that you really want to keep, stats that you really want to keep, really want to keep, and and just save these. Just save these. These are very, very, very important. All right. So let's say I am very unlucky. I got a four stat, and I want to add my two stats. The same thing as the other one. You go to the cube, and this is where you add the extra two stats. You can enchant and enchant and you got your six slots right there this is how you get your six slots and oh i should have i should have gone one step back i should have gone one step back jesus christ okay i should go one step back i'm gonna go back for you guys because i want to show you this before i'm gonna go one back for you guys because even though i have a great equipment here i do want to show you how to do it properly so you don't mess up okay so we're gonna go ahead and there's a level 10 item there I hopefully hopefully this does not remove one of my options my 10 there we go Oof, beautiful all right so here we go um, back to where we were uh, let's say you do have a you have five five items right now right now and you're looking for a prefix or suffixes right now as you can tell you have three prefix and two suffix the maximum count of prefix and suffixes is three so you can only have three prefix and three suffix you can have more than that okay so if you're looking for an actual stat and it's actually a prefix when you already have three prefixes you're not going to get that stat because you already have a prefix up there okay so don't expect on your next item see we have an extra slot here whatever's coming is going to be a suffix because it is the only remaining option that we have is just suffix so we can we can get any uh, any option in the suffix side but not any on the prefix because we have maxed out so you can only get three prefix and three suffix okay so now that we have that i used this disintegration essence to remove one of my options here but keep in mind this is rng and it can re it can destroy your most valuable option that you have in your equipment so be mindful when you're doing that okay so next we're just gonna go ahead and see what we got there so we're gonna use your coin same thing as the magic side you're just gonna use your coin and it's gonna unveil that it gave me a chaos resist Okay, moving along, let's say that this is not the piece that you want. Let's say that this is not the piece that you want and you want to redo it all over again. Uh, it just didn't come out the way you want it. And then you go ahead and use this reversion essence and this will bring it back to normal, back to zero, back to where you started with. Uh, it's not going to change the rarity. The rarity, the, the percentage rarity is not going to change it because... Um, it's not going to change your percentage stat because that's one of the options that we already did and that's that we did that at normal so it's not going to change your your percentage okay so your percentage will stay at that point okay moving along here we have a quality modification essence it modifies the quality of a normal magic rare and legendary item that is 10 plus 10 quality that is plus 10 quality or higher by minus 5 to plus 10 by chance so this can either bring it down to 10 percent or bring it up to 25 percent and again this is all rng so 
these hopefully you don't you don't destroy an item that you have a 10% that you have 15% or 20% you bring it down to 15 15 is not that bad um, but if you have it at 10% it brings it down to 5 and that's that, that's when it hurts so um, yeah or you can go the other way around you might have your item at 20% and increase it to 30% which is a, a massive massive amount an increase and, um, and it can just go your way and moving on the next one we have is the prefix option uh, prefix option birth essences this will reimbue your prefix options only so all your prefixes it will change only your prefixes okay this was the prefix option removal so let's say one of these options you just don't want let's say I want to remove this tier 3 I can go for it and this by chance is going to remove one of these three right here Okay, only the prefixes. And next we have is the suffix options, birth essences. Uh, this is this uh, works the same thing. Is going to reimbue your suffix options, and these are your suffix. And yeah, this will re reimbue all your options. And again, the suffix options removal. It does the same thing as the prefix. It's going to remove one of your prefix. Let's say you want to remove this tier four poison, but again. You, this is RNG, so you might remove your tier 10 by mistake, so you got to be careful with these as well. Here we have a unique change essence. This is the only item that changes your unique item values. Uh, it will not change the options because the options are fixed on your unique items. Uh, this only changes the values of your options that you have here. Okay, so that's the only thing that this is good for. Next we have the legendary upgrade essence. This will this will change your rare item into a legendary item. And keep in mind your options can no longer be enchanted once it is legendary. So whatever you have here, that's what you're going to get forever on this item. There's no way to change them ever again, okay? So make sure that all your items are to what you like to your liking before you upgrade that item to a legendary. Then we have the legendary imbue essence. This imbues one additional item option to your legendary option. So you can go from six to seven to seven options. Next we have the Vesper Essence. This will re-imbue a tier on a level 70 rare item and will guarantee at least one option with a higher tier. Next we have the Eliza Essence, and this will re-imbue your tiers as well with a higher chance of getting a higher tier. Next we have the Authority Elijah Essence, but before we explain what this does, I'm going to explain to you what an Authority Equipment is. Equ uh, authority Equipment normally comes in a completely different hue, it has a different embracing on it on the side, you're going to see it on the side when it drops, you're going to see this different hue, purplish hue on there, and that shows you that this item has a special authority to it that is going to give you extra stats and is very powerful and it's going to make your stats grow exponentially um, here i have mine the one i have equipped on right now mine has a minion critical damage i really don't care for that i care for the other stats that i have um, but i do have the options to change this in the future with uh, with the authority elijah essence and then we can go in here and look at the stats and this is the authority and this is what my equipment can drop as you can see, this is all the authorities right here that I can switch to. And these are the other options that I can roll on my equipment on the prefix and the prefix and the suffix on this on this equipment. So I can roll until I get one of these prefix or one of these suffix or whatever other I want. If I don't want the one of the one of the special authority prefix or suffixes. And the authority Alasia essence can change your authority and change it to a completely different authority so to armor penetration penetration to whatever your heart content and it will also change your prefix and suffixes as you change it well thank you so much guys for sticking by i know it's been a long video i uh, hopefully this hopefully this helps you out in understanding better your equipment and hopefully help you guys on your game improving your game being able to pass those bosses if you like this video and you found this video inform informative please go ahead subscribe like and leave me a comment let me know what you think about it maybe something i can improve on and i'm 
always welcoming your input on everything. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.